Each moment is that new beginning, that chance to refocus your mind. These rituals that we have are just ways of kind of reinforcing your routine that so that you're reminding yourself to do these things all the time. Start with the big things, the years, the months, the days, and then, then each hour and each minute and then each moment can be just as important as those things. I try to treat every moment of my life as spiritual in some way, maybe, maybe with varying degrees of success, but I guess it, uh, it depends a little bit on what your definition of spiritual is. But to me, it's just kind of treating each moment like it's sacred and that it's, each moment is worthy of your attention. And when you, when you are trying to live your life like that, everything becomes a spiritual experience. Your food will taste different. Your interactions will pe with people will be more meaningful. Those mundane things seem much more critical. And I think that's kind of what I was saying with like, when you get put in a life or death situation, your mind becomes hyper-focused on the moment. And I use that practice through sword and martial arts to learn how to apply that to other parts of my life. But I, I, before I knew anything about Zen or Buddhism, I had experienced those kind of moments of clarity, oftentimes like doing sports or something like that, where I felt like kind of some physical impetus to have to focus on that moment. And then I wanted to figure out how to expand that into different parts of my life. You know, I think a lot of people who chase adrenaline rushes and things, I think that feeling is, is one of the things they're chasing. I know for me, that was like part of it. And as soon as I started practicing Zen and martial arts, I found like a different way to practice and to get that level of focus. And I stopped chasing like the more dangerous kind of adrenaline rush kind of things.